I'm Dr. Joshua Rosenau, Director of Functional Neurosurgery here at Northwestern Medicine. Today we're going to go inside the OR and see a procedure for implantation of a deep brain stimulating system for the relief of essential tremor. Deep brain stimulation is a minimally invasive, reversible, and adjustable procedure that involves sending small amounts of electricity to structures deep in the brain for relief of neurological symptoms. Hello. Our patient today suffers from essential tremor. She has already failed treatment with multiple medications and has elected to undergo deep brain stimulation to help significantly reduce her symptoms and improve her quality of life. So in the operating room today, we have an intraoperative CT scanner. We will use it at the beginning of the procedure to help get a scan of the patient while she has a device on her head called a stereotactic frame that helps us both hold the patient steady on the operating table, hold all of our equipment as we do the very delicate task of placing an electrode deep in the patient's brain, and helps provide us with coordinates in a kind of XYZ fashion to target those areas. So the CT scan has now been localized and merge with the MRI and we have all the data that we need to now target the deep brain structures in the thalamus and do the operation. The brain itself, surprisingly, has no pain nerves, so we can operate on the brain without the patient ever feeling anything. The Novocaine is all for the skin itself. As long as the skin is numb, we can operate very comfortably on the brain. The procedure is done in several stages. The first part of the procedure, where we put the electrode in place, is done with the patient under intravenous sedation for part of the procedure and fully awake for part of the procedure when we do the brain mapping. This is going to be a little more interactive. We use what's called physiologic mapping or brain mapping. That's when we'll have the patient fully awake. Can you say Wrigley Field? And we'll be able to listen to the brain activity. What we'll hear are cells that respond to movement. And so I'll be moving the patient's arm around and listening as those cells fire to hear if they change their pattern in response to the movements that I make. Once we've determined with our recordings and our physiologic mapping where we want the electrode to be, we'll implant the permanent electrode and then we'll turn that on. Once we're satisfied with everything, she will be given more intravenous sedation to go back to sleep and we'll begin the process of anchoring the electrode down and burying it under the skin, sewing the electrode up. Typically, patients after this procedure spend one night in the hospital in a regular room without a need for an ICU stay and go home the next day. Awesome, that looks beautiful. I'm Dr. Joshua Rosenau. Thank you for joining me inside the OR.